the fight is on. The guns are quickly manned. Welcome to another video by Battlefront Living Minister Group Malta. In our last video on British Ordnance, we looked at the Vickers 2 pounder pom pom system. This time we'll be looking at the Swedish Bofors system of a similar caliber of 40mm. The Bofors system is perhaps one of the most recognizable and ubiquitous light anti aircraft gun system of the Second World War and still sees service with some countries today. British Army interest in the Bofors 40mm design dates back to 1933. Over 10 years after the Royal Navy realized the importance of fast-firing short-range anti-aircraft guns, 100 Polish examples were procured in 1937 for evaluation in service. The design soon received a number of modifications, most notably ones that permitted the model to be mass-produced in Britain. Up until that point, the Beaufort seemed to be meant to be assembled by hand, this requiring filing to fit and numerous man-hours. Following trials, it was also realized that though the gun could be turned to bear on enemy aircraft quickly, accurately engaging high-speed aircraft was extremely difficult. As a result, the British military put into service what is known as the Kerosene Director. The Kerosene Director was a form of early fire control system, and it permitted three operators to introduce data into the system and train a Bofors gun more accurately and remotely uh, on uh, a passing enemy aircraft. Other than that, the system only required three loaders to continuously keep the gun fed. However, the kerosene was found to be challenging to set up and logistically strenuous, and in most engagements, particularly those on Malta, both force guns were manually operated, making use of rudimentary sights, void of the possibility of correction, and this made the both force guns in British service somewhat less effective than guns in other countries until 1943, when the Stifke site was introduced in Commonwealth Bofors guns. Nevertheless, good gunnery and anti-aircraft tactics, most notably the famous Box Barrage, employed over Malta numerous times for the defence of the harbour and key facilities, permitted a quantity of Bofors batteries to provide excellent anti-aircraft cover. This variant, named the quick-firing 40mm Mark III, fired a 40mm shell from a shell casing approximately 311 mm long. The size of the shell casing and the amount of propellant that could be carried, coupled with the uh, long barrel of the Beaufort system at the time around 60 calibers long, permitted it a high muzzle velocity as well as a pretty effective ceiling of around 7000 meters maximum, with the recommended effective ceiling being of around 4000 meters instead. The theoretical rate of fire was of 120 rounds per minute when the barrel was elevated and somewhat faster through gravity assistance at lower elevations. Nevertheless, the practical rate of fire was of between 80 and 100 rounds per minute since the feeding system, using four round clips, had to be constantly fed by multiple loaders. Just eight Beaufort's guns were present in Malta for its defence at the outbreak of war with Italy in June 1940. Michael J. Budden outlines in great detail an overall reluctance to equip Malta with sufficient anti-air defences for a number of years prior to mid-1940, and great disagreement between the Royal Navy and the Royal Air Force on the most appropriate investment and procurement for the defence of the island. Nevertheless, by the beginning of 1942, 118 40mm Beaufort's guns equipped Malta's light anti-aircraft batteries, a formidable increase which contributed greatly to Axe's misfortunes in their bombing of the island fortress. Some of the Beaufort's guns used in the defence of Malta found themselves on static mounts, but a great deal remained on mobile carriages. This allowed them to relocate very easily so as to continuously elude Axe's aerial reconnaissance. In effect, this also makes it very difficult for us today to find out the precise location of the 40mm batteries at any point in time during the Siege of Malta, as opposed to the heavy anti-aircraft gun batteries that are much easier to locate even today. <laughs> 